I think theater has been important throughout history because we are fascinated by the story. It goes back to an instinct we have to share and explore who we are and why we are and how we are. The interesting thing about theater is that it is the meeting place of the arts. It's where everything comes together, and I think that's what draws me to uh, theater more than anything else. I had this all drawn out. This is basically what I wanted it to look like. And all of these pieces are gonna get stuffed as well, guys, so you can start on that. At Barbara Ingram, theater arts is both very magical and very rewarding. She, she, she believes she made a mistake. I believe she made a mistake coming to see you this summer. I would think anyone would jump at the chance to come to Nanamura. You would. You may be in for Your surprise. work in rehearsal is a most exciting part because that's when you take whatever the play is and tell our story in a unique way. Sure. Strong in all things, voice and movement, okay? Just add that one element that you're gonna cross in front of him, but you're not sure if you're supposed to. Yeah, you're not sure if you're supposed to. When it comes to design for shows, it's a huge process. We have to build pretty much everything that uh, that we put on stage. For the fantasies, that's always a make everything and figure out how you're gonna do it. You have the acting, you have the music, uh, you have the architecture and art designs in your uh, sets, and uh, we have to build it all because it's going to look really good and it's going to fit well. So, here for a little bit. So your mom is hip. Tracy says hip. Your mom, and we might even put you know the pinkies in there too, just to get a little extra hip. Okay. Your mom is in. Go, mama. Mama's looking at herself. This is still Mr. Pinky. I utilize a lot of kids on stage, so I want a lot of height differentiation plus the front of the stage so that I can have floor space. So you're looking as an audience up here and you're seeing a lift the whole way back. Plus these are all individually uh, built platforms with different heights like these. It's a full team effort, but not only does it fall upon the people on stage, but it, it it's the, the tech behind the stage that has to hit their marks. What this is, is giving you a, a, a basic mock-up of a stage in 3D. You have everybody working together for one goal. Right on. Coming down. There is nothing that teaches you teamwork more than putting on a musical. As long as you live under my roof, you will obey my rules! You just listen to me for one You're second. never going up to the surface again, Ariel. Understood? Never again! You're so unfair! <laughs> I think I would say to anyone who doesn't know about Barbara Ingram or this is the first time you're learning that such a program exists in a public high school, that if you have any inklings that you have an artist's voice, absolutely pursue it. Don't question yourself, just pursue it because everyone does have a voice. 
and you can take that with uh, a great deal of pride into who you are. With your permission, sire, I'd like to make her my wife. My permission. Ariel, speak for herself. Yes, Eric. Oh, yes. Theater has been a, one of the best ways of communicating between people. And um, I think that tends to bring people together, no matter what their beliefs are. It tends to bring people together as one. Here, they're all here for the same purpose. If you learn how to work together like that, there's nothing you can't do together. This is the way education should be. And when you do walk into the Barbara Ingram School for the Arts, you know right away that these are happy students. These are happy kids. They love being there. They love learning. And I thank everyone that ever supported us for that. Thank you.